Hi, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and today we will talk about creating custom Facebook pages. Now Facebook pages are one of the most used features of Facebook and everyone from brands, celebrities, websites big or small or even mom and pop stores, they all have their own Facebook pages now. Now creating a regular Facebook page is really simple and anyone with a Facebook account can do that in 5 minutes. However, if you want your Facebook page to be really useful, you want to pull in external information into that page. This could be your tweets, this could be your videos, presentations, or even a Google map of your store's location. You want to have all this information which you put in your external website into your Facebook page. So how do you do all this? We learn in 5 minutes. But before we get started, let's quickly understand where do we host these pages. Now you have two options here. If you have your own web host, you can probably use that to host your Facebook pages. But what I prefer is Google Sites and there are two reasons why. One, Google Sites is really really easy to maintain and it's integrated with Google Analytics. So that takes care of the tracking part. There's another reason why I prefer Google Sites over a web host. In the new version of Facebook, they have enabled something called secure browsing where users have an option to say that we only want to browse Facebook over a secure connection which is HTTPS. Now if that's the case and you are serving your Facebook page over a regular HTTP connection, those people who have turned on HTTPS won't see your page, all they will see is a blank screen. We really want to avoid this situation, so we should serve our Facebook pages over a both regular and as well as an HTTPS connection. And the good part about Google Sites is it can handle both these connections very very easily. So that's the theory part, now let's quickly jump in and see how to create a custom Facebook page. Now since this is your first Facebook app, you need to add the developer app to your Facebook profile. Just go to the search box and search for developer and add the application to your Facebook profile. Now Facebook gives you an option to create a new app. Now in Facebook pages, the more tabs you have, the more apps you need to create. So for this example, let's create a simple hello world app. Just give the app a name and agree to the terms and conditions and click continue. Now these are some of the options for your Facebook app that you can set. Now for this app we will simply add a description because this helps because if you have multiple tabs on a page this helps you figure out which app does what. And you should also add an icon to your app. This is because the icon will be visible once you add this app to your Facebook page. So for this example I already have an image on my desktop that I will simply set as an icon for this app. You can leave all the other values on this page to the default values and just save the changes. Now hit the on, Pro on Facebook link in the left sidebar and this is the place where you need to specify a URL for your canvas page. Now specify something unique because it has to be unique across the Facebook ecosystem so you can probably prefix or suffix this for something. Now go to Google Sites to actually create the page. You can sign in using your regular Google account and if you are creating a Google site for the first time just click on the create site button. Now give your site a name, let's call it my Facebook page. And again you need to specify a unique URL for your Google site. Next we need to choose a theme, now there are several themes available in Google sites but we will prefer the blank slate option which adds no formatting, no backgrounds to our Google site pages. Also make sure that the option everyone in the world can view this site is selected because you want your, Google, your Facebook pages to be visible to everyone. Fill in the captcha and click the create button to create your site. Now our basic site is ready and we need to modify this. So go to manage site and choose um, general. Now here we need to deselect show site name at top of pages because we don't want to show our Google site names on our Facebook pages. So we just deselect this option. Now in case you want to track your pages through Google Analytics, you need to fill in your Google Analytics profile ID here. So just enable statistics and fill in your Google profile ID. And once you've done that, just save your changes. Next go to site layout. Now in this option, we need to specify the width of the layout. So Facebook pages generally have a 520 pixel width so we'll set this to 500 pixel just to be on the safer side and we'll deselect header, sidebar, footer because we just don't want Google site stuff to come in our Facebook pages. So we'll deselect everything and click OK. 
one more change google sites add certain footer links so we'll just deselect them hide them so that they don't show up in facebook pages and click ok now let's save the changes and our basic google sites template is ready for use now this is the pages tab now all our pages that we create they will appear here under the my facebook page tree now let's return to the site and create a new page that we want to show in facebook now give your facebook page some name let's call it about us and create the page now your first page is ready let's add some content into this page so we'll probably add an image that i have on my desktop so i'll simply insert that image using uh, the insert image option now if you notice google sites take care of hosting that image as well so you don't need a server to host that image so i'll just insert this image into my facebook page give it some alt text and probably we'll align this image to the right side and i also i'll also add some text to this so i'll just copy paste this text into google sites now we can also format our text using standard html text so let's add a heading to this and change the font styles and all these things will be visible in our facebook pages as well so our basic facebook page is ready now let's save this now before we add this to facebook we need to make a few changes here go to page settings and deselect all these options because we don't want the google site stuff to show up in facebook so just deselect everything and click save now the interesting part just copy the url of this google sites page and switch to facebook now just paste the google sites url as the canvas url you need to add a slash to the canvas url this is really important also you need to change from https to http because this is regular canvas url we will have the https version in the secure canvas url below similarly if you scroll down you will see a section called tabs now this is the thing that will show up in the facebook page so give your tab a meaningful name let's call it about us and uh, under tab url you need to paste the same google sites url again the tab url this should have the regular http url while the secure tab url should have the https version now save your changes and your first facebook app for the page is now ready let's test this so go to your view app profile page and click on the add to my page link which is in the left sidebar now i created a sample page called same place so we'll just add the app to this page the app is added now let's go to that page same place and if you notice something in the left sidebar you see a new tab called about let's click that and there you have the page that you just created in google sites that's it so let's try something else let's try modifying this page so we'll go back to google sites and let's edit this page this time we'll probably add some youtube video to this page so this is the youtube video that we'll embed in our facebook page just open the embed tag and change the width of the video this is important because our facebook pages width cannot exceed 520 pixels so just copy the modified embed code to the clipboard and go back to google sites you can't embed the you can't paste this code here so switch to html view and copy paste the code here you can also add uh, your own html tags here for example i added a second level header here save these changes and now let's go back to facebook to see if the changes have come there or not let's refresh this page and there you have the youtube video down there so now let's try something different let's try adding one more tab so go back to google sites and create another page now in this page let's have a google map so that people can contact us so let's call this page contact us and create a page So we go to google maps directly and let's create an embed code for this location 
Now this is an iframe tag so this is just to show that how easy it is to embed iframes into your Google sites and this show them directly into your Facebook pages. So for this example again we change the width so that it fits in our Facebook page. We can set the height anything we like let's set this to 600 and copy the embed code to the clipboard. Now again in Google sites you can't paste this code so switch to the HTML view and paste the code here. Now save the changes but before you use this page into Facebook you need to remove a few things. So again go to more actions page settings and deselect everything. Now let's go back to Facebook and create another page. So again we'll go to the developer app and this time we don't have to add it to our profile because we have already added it. Now just click the create new app to create another tab for our Facebook page. Let's call this contact us and fill in the other details. Now as before go to the Facebook thing and give some unique URL to your campus page. Now in the canvas URL and the secure canvas URL you need to copy paste the Google sites URL so we'll just go there copy that to the clipboard come back to Facebook and paste it here. Remember to add a slash after the URL and also remove the HTTPS from the non-secure URLs. Save your changes. Now go to view app profile page to add it to your Facebook page. We'll select same place, add to page and click close. Now let's go to our Facebook page and there you see a new tab in the left sidebar called contact. Open that and it should show a Google map. So as you have seen it's so easy to add stuff to our Facebook pages but before I end this tutorial let me share one more trick. Go to edit info. If you want to show a different landing tab to people who are not fans of your Facebook page yet just go to manage permissions and under default landing tab choose a different tab. That's it. Save your changes and you're done.